Hi, I'm Matt Long. Thank you for tuning in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Ooh, that I voice. Can't I did it. You did it. First try. No edits <laughs> needed, guys. No well, you, edits you needed. You probably won't use that, but yeah. Yeah, so tell us a little bit more about the show you're on. The show is called Manifest. Um, the premise of the show is uh, a plane takes off. Five and a half years later, it lands after everyone thought it was missing. The world continued living. Um, and all the repercussions that come out of that. There's also this supernatural element. The passengers from the plane are having these visions and callings, sort of like dreamlike uh, visions they have during the day and at night that tell them things that are very cryptic and, and hard to understand. My character, Zeke, had a similar uh, thing happen. He w I took shelter in a cave to escape a blizzard. I thought I was in there for two weeks. I came out a year later. So I'm also having callings. I have this supernatural connection with a character named Michaela. Um, the show's about redemption. It's about science versus uh, religion and faith. And a lot of really big ideas and compelling and interesting concept. Oh, so many ideas packed into a tight, yeah, tight a show like there's that. A lot going on. Sounds amazing. Now you, there's a little bit of a time gap here. There's a year. There's five years. Yeah. What was like a huge fear of yours? Let's say you can zoom forward five years into it. What would be something you'd be like? Oh my God! I hope that doesn't happen in five years. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to get political. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, surely in five years it wouldn't matter. But um, If you had a time gap, you would be like, oh my if goodness. If I had a time gap, for, my first thought was that, you know, my daughter's going to be 11, we're having a baby in March, and he would be five and a half, you know, something. And that would be horrible. Uh, I would maybe, hope maybe some little boy was still around, you know, like, you know, if everyone's healthy and happy. Uh, you know, my wife, hey, there's just so many repercussions, so many implications, family and relationship wise, and then world wise. Mm -hmm. What's going on with the environment at that time and, and, and geopolitical things? Of course. I guess <laughs> you know? there's so much things going on right now, it could be anything yeah. in five years yeah, for right. sure. So, um, you mentioned your, your family or whatever. When you're in your family at home, what are some TV shows that you guys enjoy watching? Well, my daughter's only six, so we watch a lot of Pokemon right now. We just went and saw Frozen 2. My wife and I love to watch Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, um, Fleabag we just watched, um, The Crown, we loved Game of Thrones obviously when it was on. I've been, in, I've been in New York shooting the show for the past six months so we've sort of been watching two different things. I, my favorite show right now is Succession. I just finished that when I was Why is in New that? York. Oh my, it's just so well written, so well acted. The actors in the show are just fantastic. They take the, the writing is so unbelievable, and then the actors just take it to a whole other level. Uh, they're all so good in it. Uh, yeah, it's just really, really well done. Oh, great, great. Well, thank you so much for stopping to talk to Afterbus TV and giving us that drop. You know, maybe a little voice acting in the future. I don't know. <laughs> you think so? I can so? see it. I can see it. I definitely can see it. But thank you so much. Right, thank you.